Hey everyone, here to talk to you about Act 3, Scene 1 of Romeo and Juliet. Um, so I had talked a little bit earlier about Benvolio being generally a peaceful person. And my first question for Act 3 was, um, you know, when Mercutio says that Benvolio says one thing, says he's peaceful, but really he's, a, you know, a, a, he's quick to fight. Um, I had asked whether Mercutio was joking or if you thought he was being serious. And, you know, some of the examples he gives makes it clear he is still joking, right? He says that Benvolio would um, stab someone for, you know, having an extra hair in his beard more than he did. Or um, he would, like, fight someone for cracking nuts because he has hazel eyes like you know none of that makes sense and so it's just sort of ridiculous also further proof of that is that later in the scene when Tybalt and the men show up Benvolio again sort of tries to keep the peace and Mercutio is the one who actually jumps in and and tries to fight and of course we know by the end of the scene it does not go well for him uh, but he's the one who seems that he's quick to fight not not Menvolio and interestingly his name Mercutio comes from the name Mercury which means fast and so if we think of him having a quick temper um, as well as a quick wit right because he is funny and he is uh, you know bright and can uh, make really quick jokes but he also seems to have a quick temper and he's quick to jump into the fight with Tybalt when Tybalt shows up and is ready to fight against Romeo. Now, Romeo, uh, a lot of people seemed confused about this and weren't able to really answer the question, but the reason that Romeo says he loves Tybalt is because if you remember, Tybalt is a Capulet, right? And so he's Juliet's cousin. And so Romeo is now married to Juliet. And so Tybalt is his cousin. And so when he says he loves Tybalt, he means because he's family. But of course, he can't tell anyone that. And so Tybalt thinks that Romeo is just mocking him and that just makes him more angry. So it sort of backfires. And then Mercutio gets upset too because he thinks Romeo is being a coward because he doesn't know about Juliet, right? Because he still thinks Romeo is in love with Rosaline. And so this all big misunderstanding leads to a big fight. And then, you know, with Romeo and Benvolio sort of trying to get the fighting to stop, but... Um, you know, it continuing regardless, and then Romeo sort of jumping in between uh, Mercutio and Tybalt to try and protect Mercutio, which ends up backfiring because Tybalt stabs Mercutio underneath Romeo's arm. So like the sword goes um, under Romeo's arm, like Romeo standing in front of, of Mercutio and Tybalt stabs underneath his arm and it stabs Mercutio. And then Mercutio dies. Um, a lot of people also seem confused and didn't realize that Mercutio dies. Again, remember, read the um, read the modern translation. But even in the Shakespeare version, it says Mercutio is dead. Like that's one of Benvolio's lines. So also make sure you don't skip any lines because that's going to be confusing to you as well. And so finally, um, you know, Romeo, because Mercutio dies, he goes after Tybalt and he kills Tybalt, which then ends up, you know, meaning that he has to be punished by the prince. Because if you remember back to the very beginning of the play, the prince had said if the Capulets and the Montagues were caught fighting, they would be put to death. And so um, Romeo now is, you know, in danger of being put to death, except when the prince shows up and he hears the story from Benvolio because again Benvolio you know seems trustworthy and he's calm and he you know is sort of even mannered and so he tells the story and the prince said well Mercutio is dead Mercutio is a Montague and Tybalt is dead Tybalt is a Capulet so we have one dead on each side. It doesn't make any sense to kill another person. So instead of having Romeo put to death, he simply exiles him, which I think most people would agree shows mercy that he's a good prince and he, you know, ruling his city with a merciful hand. Um, and so that's scene one. I will be back later to do a video for you for scene two.